Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for your support. Several people bought me cups of coffee to keep me going and boy, I definitely need it. You know, they say coffee wards off dementia. <laughs> At my age, yeah. Um, I need all the coffee I can get to keep going. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News and thank you for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. A few days ago, I talked about the health care system and how um, many of the facilities were closing down. Yeah, our health system is crashing. But many do not realize that our banking system is crashing even worse. There was an article about about 60-some banks and branches that were close, closing. And it's much worse than what you're being told. Much worse. Uh, can you survive another Great Depression? I think it's coming. Just from the last hour of research, I have found over 386 banks and branches are closing. 386. Number one on the list is Bank of America. They're closing over 150 branches. This is going to cause banking deserts. I found one town in Mississippi. Pickens, Mississippi, which only had one bank, and their one and only bank is now closing. It will be closed on December 15th. Bank Plus is the only bank within 20 miles. Think of that town's small businesses that are going to have to uh, open up accounts 20 miles away. Most of the branches are closing because they say they are not generating enough revenue. That small town there in Mississippi, in Holmes County, had um, 920 residents as of 2020. The bank said they only brought in $4 million in revenue, not enough to operate in the rural area, and it needed to generate $40 million in revenue. Banks are required to notify the Office of the Controller of Currency, OCC, at least 90 days before closing a branch. This is done through an advanced branch closing notice. Number one for branch closings is Bank of America. 150 branches they will be closing. This will be throughout the United States. Places like Scarsdale, New York, Stamford, Connecticut, Lawrence Town Township in New Jersey, Thousand Oaks in California, and the branch that they have at the San Francisco International Airport there in California. One in Massachusetts and several in California. Second on the list would be Wells Fargo. They are closing 61 branches or have closed 61 branches all total. They're going to be in California, Florida, Minnesota, and Georgia. That's just some of the places that they're closing them. Next on the list would be PNC Bank. Total closures are 127. Uh, 29 different locations were already closed as of August 19th. Now, this is not in order of bank closures, but J.P. Morgan is closing 18 banks, three in Ohio, three in Connecticut, two in South Carolina, one in New York, one in Illinois, one in Florida, and another one in Massachusetts. Chase Bank has over 24 closures. Um, they are set to be from California to New York. Citibank is going to close eight offices, six in New York, one in Massachusetts, and one in Delaware. U.S. Bank announced seven closures, three in Tennessee, and one in Missouri, one in Wisconsin, one in Ohio, and one in Illinois. Citizen Bank announced two closures. I don't know where they're going to be located at. Um, but all total, 386 different branches are going to be closing. 386. So once again, the top three is Bank of America with 150 different branch closures. PNC with 127 branch closures. closures. Uh, Wells Fargo with 61 closures. You know, these branch closures, it's creating more and more banking deserts. As the economy gets worse and worse, uh, yeah, the banks are tightening up their belt. 
Big branches have been closing across the U.S. as consumers move towards digital financing or maybe direct deposit and payments by phone um, other than the brick and mortar offices. Many people already probably are used to doing the digital dollar. I mean, we're doing that with our debit cards and credit cards. Very few people carry cash or even use cash nowadays. You know, if the internet goes down and the banking computers go down, uh, the only thing you're going to be able to use at the stores is probably cash. But nowadays, you're lucky to find a cashier that can actually count money. In the last year, they've been encouraging banks to start being where they open up accounts with less amount of money for people just so they can have that digital card for the digital currency that's coming. And don't think that this is just here in the United States. There in the UK, they announced that hundreds of banks there have already closed for good for the year. There in the UK, 19 bank branches are set to close their doors for the final time in December of this year. I wonder if it's the 15th. The locations are supposed to be in England, Wales, and other locations. If you happen to know the locations, let me know. But Barclays is shuttering 11 branches, while Lloyd's is closing one, and the Bank of Scotland is closing three. Virgin Money is closing two, one in Halifax, and one in Nat West. Bank of Scotland is closing three branches, and they're all in Scotland. Uh, one branch in Dunklid, the other one in Falkland, and the other one is Dunoon, Scotland. They're all supposed to be closed by December 5th. This here is on the OCC.gov website, going up until the 11th of the different bank closures here in the U.S. Now, this is only for uh, one week, it looks like. So, we have um, Capital One. Um, J.P. Morgan, um, another J.P. Morgan, one in Chicago, one in Denver, another one in Sherman Oaks, another J.P. Morgan in San Diego, another one in San Francisco, another J.P. Morgan in Garden Grove, another one in Falcon, another one in Arbida. Um, Heritage Bank listed in Sioux City, um, Iowa. In Arizona, Zion Bank Corp. U.S. Bank Belmont Branch in Pueblo, Colorado. Another USA Bank. Another USA Bank in Portage, Indiana. A Wells Fargo Bank there in Roswell, New Mexico. North Little Rock um, Arkansas, USA Bank, uh, one in Florida, um, USA Bank, West Palm Beach, um, Bakersfield, California, Wells Fargo, um, another Wells Fargo in Tampa, Florida, uh, Virginia, I believe, Bristol, another Wells Fargo, um, Tudisville, Wells Fargo, um, San Antonio, Wells Fargo, Cape Coral, that's probably um, Florida, another Wells Fargo. Clemens, North Carolina, another Wells Fargo. Also in the city of Washington, I'm not sure what state that is. Um, a branch in Los Angeles, um, Monrovia, San Jose, California, Los Angeles, California, um, La Crosse, is a downtown branch of Associated Bank. Then we got Key Bank um, in Cincinnati, which is closing. There's also a Key Bank in Indianapolis that is closing. U.S. Bank in uh, Rolling Meadows. Um, J.P. Morgan in Old Greenwich. Let's see, we got Key Bank in Portland, Oregon. Uh, Key Bank in Westlake. See, Key Bank was not mentioned. So we got Key Bank in Westlake, Key Bank in Canefield, also another one in Portland, USA Bank in 
Kenosha, Key Bank in Pittsburgh, USA Bank in McGinnville. Yeah, I don't know what state that is. Pepper Pike, they're closing uh, another key bank. Another key bank in Denver, Colorado. Also one in Seattle. J.P. Morgan um, Chase in Chicago. Um, Citizens Bank in Smithfield. Another one in Medford. That would be Oregon. Citizen Bank in Springfield, Minneapolis. Um, Ceridian, it says, change in bank control. I wonder if that's where the government comes in and closes it down. And Yeah, you get pennies on the dollar if they took over the bank. I don't know. First National Bank there in Texas, Woodville, termination. Now, I clicked on that, and it says termination, merger, out-of-state bank. It goes on to say Jasper, Texas, County Jasper, First State Bank of Livingston. So they must have got bought up by another bank. That's a lot of people that's going to be out of work, especially at the holiday season. Yep, tightening their belts. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Be prepared. Yeah, going into a depression is going to be worse than before because when we had the Great Depression before, most people did not live in the cities. They moved to the cities looking for work. Um, but most people had their gardens and they had their chickens and livestock to live off of to make ends eat meat. And most people were, were poor anyway, so it didn't make any difference to them when the banks closed. Um, but it's a completely different era nowadays. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.